Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt Garvey and we are here to talk about making comics today. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about how much comic art costs. Because not a week goes by where I don't have a message slip into my DMs over on Twitter or via my website where you know a writer will say to me, Matt, just finished my first script. You know, I need to find an artist, you know, to bring it to life. Um, how much, you know, what what do, what do they charge and what is the page rate that they use and you know they, they just want a set figure answer and this video itself was actually requested in the comments by another channel called Screen Slurp which is a really funny channel you should go check it out I'll link to them guys in the description but I thought you know because I'm getting this question quite a lot it'd be easy just to do a video on it so also you know if you've got any videos that you want me to do any questions you want me to answer you know let me know in the comments because you know I will try and answer them as best I can if I can. So, you know, that's the reason for this video today. So, when it comes to um, finding your artist and getting a page rate for your comic, there is no standard page rate answer in indie comics because, you know, an artist can charge you whatever their going rate is. And every artist is very different, you know, depending on where they are in their career, you know, whether they're full time or whether they're part time. Now, when an artist does get to a certain level and, you know, they start working for like a Marvel or DC, you know, there is an entry level, you know, page rate that they get. I was told this a couple of years ago and I don't know if that's still the case but it's usually between you know 150 to 200 dollars you know just for the pencils and you're making your first comment you probably don't have you know 200 dollars a page to spend on pencils because you've also got to add the inks you've also got to add the colors you've also got to add the letters and all that kind of stuff so when you put all that together and then you multiply that by how many pages that there are in your comic that comic is going to come to quite a lot of money and if you're starting out the chances of you getting a return on investment on that is going to be pretty slim because you know bit of tough love guys you know the first comic you produce is probably not going to land with you know like a publisher an image of all that kind of thing because you're still learning and there's no shame in it we all start at a certain level so you know you're going to have your artists that are going to be you know up here for like your marvel and dc's and then you're going to get your small press independent artists that are going to be around here and if you're starting out you're going to be around that level as well so you know there is no standard answer for page rates but i wanted to try and give you guys some value so when you're going out and looking for your artist collaboration hopefully this will help guide you in what you should know and what you should say and what you shouldn't say to artists you know to try and find you know the right artist that fits and get a page rate that you can afford to bring that comic to life now whether you like to you know agree with this or not the key to actually working in comics at every level is networking and when you're first starting out you know at the bottom because we all start at the bottom there is again there is no shame in it it's all about networking and you know i'm not talking about sycophantin suck up that you know i see some people doing you know i'm talking about you know going out there and making meaningful connections you know with artists other writers colorists letterers you know whoever you need to get into your circle of creators so when you are looking for that extra pair of hands, you know, that extra creator to jump onto your team, it's going to be easy to find. So don't wait until you have finished writing your first script. You know, as you are writing your script, start networking with artists that whose work that you like on Twitter um, and other forms of social media as well. And, you know, again, don't be sycophantic. Don't just, you know, pay them compliment after compliment of coming like, I love everything you do. This is amazing, that kind of thing. You know, just be polite, reach out, connect with them have a chat, you know, pay them compliments, obviously. And what you'll find is, you know, people are friendly, especially in comics, you know, unless you're being a dick, you know, most people are, are really, really friendly. But what you'll find is over time and over years, you will find creators that will want to work with you because you've been a positive force in the comics community. So the best thing to do is network it. So when you are ready and when you are looking to find that collaborator, you know, you've got this nice little portfolio of artists that you know you know you've built a nice rapport with you can approach them and don't just drop them an email or a dm and say how much do you charge because as you've seen from the guests that i've had on this channel before it's not professional it just makes it look like it's a business transaction you know you need to write you know a polite letter you know hi it's me from you know twitter or wherever we've been following each other for you know quite a while you know I'm working on a story that I think you would be perfect for. I just really wanted to inquire, you know, not only what your page rates are, but, you know, what kind of schedule you're on at the moment. Because, you know, they might not be able to fit your comic in that schedule. But the fact that you're asking about it shows that you're thinking more about yourself and more about them. And it's going to make them want to work with you a lot more. And when an artist comes back to you with a page rate, you know, it might be out of your budget, you know, out of your ballpark. But, you know, again, 
always be polite and go back to the artist and say, do you know what, it's a little bit more than I can afford at the moment. And there is no shame in asking if there is a little bit of movement on that page rate, especially if the artist, you know, maybe having a quiet month, you know, they can fit that book in now because they've had another book canceled. They might be able to fill that hole, so they might be willing to take a little bit less. But, you know, if you do this, there is the difference between being cheeky and being polite. So, you know, don't go back with something silly again. You know, if they've said, you know, $80 a page and you go back, well, I'll give you 20. That's a no-no, that's an insult to them because every artist works at their own pace and they can all draw, you know, at different kind of speeds. I know an artist, you know, that can do a, a decent page in, you know, two to three hours, but I also know an artist that will, you know, blow your mind, you know, spending 14 hours on a page. So, you know, if you're asking and offering silly money to artists to do your work, it's going to make you look really, really bad and no one is ever going to work with you, which also leads to, you know, don't say to an artist, I don't have any money, but I will pay you back end. And for those of you that don't know what back end is, is back end is when you make a comic, you, you know, you get a publisher to pick it up, they put it out there. And then based on the sales of that comic, you will pay the artist from that. Because as I said before, this is your first couple of comics. There is no guarantee that you're going to get this comic picked up by, you know, a publisher. So you are in fact asking that artist to work for free. So if you are an artist out there, never take back end unless you're working with a huge name, you know, a huge name writer that you know they're going to sell, you know, 50,000 copies of each comic and you're going to get a decent pace about it because in theory you're asking someone to spend like a month of their time on a book in advance with the hope of getting paid. It's not right. You shouldn't do it. So if you're a writer, never offer back-end pay in lieu of a page rate. Offer that as well as a page rate. So that's my advice to you. And, you know, even if you can't afford that artist at that time, because you're building this network of artists that you're working with, you are going to find other artists that are on their way up as well that you might be able to afford, that you might be able to team up on. You might be able to go, do you know what? I'm learning to colour. What if I colour the book? And you can trade you know, your skills for each other to, you know, help you negotiate a better page rate. So again, what I'm saying is there is no standard page rate for artists out there. An artist has the right to charge you whatever they like for that page. And if you do come up with a, you know, a, a fair amount to work together with on, on a comic, never tell other people what that artist is charging you. And the reason why I say that is it's not because you're being a dick and you're like, well, no, I, I don't talk about money. You know, that's private business. The reason why I say this is because say you're working with an artist because I know I've been doing this for what, like 10 years now. So I've kind of got a reputation of being able to, you know, put comics out there, you know, and I've kind of building my brand and my relationship, my readership, my support, that kind of thing. I know artists will do me a favor, and maybe offer me a, a little bit of a discount on the page because they want to work with me. They like me as a person and you know they, they like the comics that I produce and they know that I work my butt off when I'm selling them that kind of thing. So sometimes, not all the time, but I know some artists will offer me a discount on what, they, what their page rate is. So if someone else says to me, how much did they charge you? I never tell them. Again, this is not me being rude, but because the artist has offered me a discount, if I tell another writer that, you know, they've offered, you know, they charge me X amount, and then they approach that same artist and go, how much is your page rate? And that artist goes, it's $150 a page. And they turn around to them and go, but you only charge Matt that much. So why are you charging me more? You're taking money out of that artist's pocket because that artist did me a favor. So what I'm saying is, you know, don't be rude to people, but just say, you know, that is private business between me and my collaborators, okay? So don't, you know, shortchange artists by telling people what they charge, because again, it's up to an artist how much they want to charge you for their page rate. So based on, you know, their schedule, based on, you know, how quickly they draw a page, you know, based on, you know, what are you giving them as well as a page rate? You know, are you giving them one, you know, 50% ownership of that book, which you should if it's a creator own book? You know, all these things do come into play when you are friendly negotiating a page rate with your artist collaborators. So that's what I wanted to do this video about today. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully if you found that interesting, if you have found it valuable, don't forget to give us a like, share and a subscribe. I will see you in the next one. And remember, if I can make comics, anyone can. Take care.